Today we're going to review an easy way of finding the perimeter of a compound shape. Remember, a compound shape is a shape made of two or more simple shapes joined together. In this case, the shapes that are joined together will be rectangles. First of all, we're going to refresh our memories by reviewing how to find the perimeter of a single rectangle. Remember, perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of the shape. So we can find the perimeter of a rectangle by adding up all of the sides, so in this case 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6. Or, to make it slightly easier, we can add two of the sides, 8 and 6, and then double it. That will give us the length of the other sides. On this next screen, you can see we've got two of the same compound shape. We're going to fiddle with one of them to show you the easy way of finding the perimeter. That's why it's du duplicated on here. And we don't have the length of all of the sides, so we can't add up all of the sides to find the perimeter. That's okay because we don't need all of the sides. Now what I'd like you to do is imagine that two of the sides move out like that to become a rectangle. Now we know how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. We just add 9 and 8 and then double it. So that's how we can find the perimeter of this shape over to the right. We do add 9 and 8, double it, and we get 34. Next up, we've got a slightly more complicated compound shape. Again, we don't have the length of all sides. Now on this one, we could work out the length of all of the sides, but for this purpose, we don't need to. Again, we're going to just move the blue lines out to the side, move the white lines down to the bottom, and you see we've got a rectangle again. So what are the lengths of the sides? We've got 10 meters as the height and 12 meters across the width. So we add 12 and 12. So all of those white lines at the bottom, if you put those all together, they'll add up to 12 meters. We double 12 and then we add 10 because both sides will be equal to 10. We do 12 and 12, 10 and 10, and we get 44. Okay, next up, even more complicated compound shape, but that's fine. So again, do you think we can move out the blue lines to the side? Have a think. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yep, we can move those out, and then those white lines can move to the top and bottom to become a rectangle again. So the height of our shape is 20 kilometers, as we're adding the 15 and the 5 here, and then the width is 11 plus 4. So to find the perimeter, we're going to add 15 for the width, 20 for the height, double them, double them, and we get 70 kilometers. So that's the perimeter of this complex shape over to the side. Here we have a slightly more complicated compound shape. You may want to pause the video and think about where you could move the lines to make this into a rectangle. The only problem we have here is that once you've moved some of the lines, you should notice that we can't move all of them out to the side. We can move the blue lines like this, but then we still have these white lines sticking into the middle. So what we're going to have to do is find the perimeter of the outside rectangle, but then add on these bits in the middle that are flashing now. So the height of the rectangle will be 3 kilometers plus 3.5 plus 3, so 9.5 altogether, and the width will be 10 kilometers. So we will add the 9.5 and the 10, double that, then we'll have to include the little bits that come in to the side, so 2.5 and 2.5 that go there, and then we'll have to include the 5 and the 5 that are jutting in. Now when you add that all together, we'll get the perimeter of this funny little shape over to the right. And you should get 54. Okay, lastly, have a think about whether you think this shape can be made into a rectangle and try and imagine where the lines might move. You can pause the video for a second so that you've got time to think about it. Okay, so yep, here we could move out the blue lines move to the top and bottom, move the white lines out to the side, and then we will have a total width of 11 and 35, so 46, and the height of the shape will be found by adding 30 and 9, 39. So we'll get those, we'll double them, 
total perimeter is 170 meters. Now I'm just going to move out the lines to the side so you can see what we did here. Hopefully you'd already imagined that.